What's good, BitRushers? My name is Kyler. Today's video is a much requested topic on how to create your own personal art collection with your NFTs on the Rarible app. And so we're going to get into that today. We do have several videos from the past showing how to just mint um, regular NFTs on Rarible, how to mint NFTs with unlockable content on Rarible how to animate nfts using photoshop and several other topics um, you can find that playlist on nfts linked below and if you guys are new around here please do smash the thumbs up on this one and subscribe to the channel click the bell button to be notified on all future content find the social media and all my other links in the description below here we go guys all right, guys, so the first thing you need to do is to get an Ethereum ERC-20 collectible address, one that can contain ERC-20 tokens and collectibles. The two main ones I would recommend for people are MetaMask if you're using a computer or a laptop browser, or Trust Wallet if you're using a mobile device. Those are the two wallets that I personally use. However, there are several other ones available. Today, we are gonna be using MetaMask, and if you guys aren't familiar with that, you could just go to any search engine and type in MetaMask, and if you're on Chrome or Firefox, you should be able to find the screen to download the browser app right here. So download it and get that set up. I also have a video, it is a little bit old, on how to set up a uh, MetaMask wallet. A few things have changed with the wallet, but the setup process is the same. If you guys want, that video will be popping up above right now in the top right hand corner. If you need, pause this video, go watch that, get your wallet set up, and come on back. All right, so now that we have a MetaMask wallet set up and we have some Ethereum in our wallet, you will need to send some Ethereum to your wallet for this transaction. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be under $100 depending on the fees today, but we will see. I may need a little bit more here, um, but for right now, I have about $114 USD at the time of this recording. That's 0 0.0609 ETH, and I guess we should take a look at the Ethereum price just so we know. At the time of today's recording, we do have an Ethereum price of $1,883.46. The next thing we need to do is come on over to Rarible, and that is just R-A-R-I-B-L-E dot com. It should look something like this. If it's your first time, you're going to have to log in. And so to do that, you come over to the top right-hand corner, corner, and it should look like this, where it says Connect Wallet. You click on that, it's going to give you a list of options. As I mentioned, there's many ways you can connect. You can connect with Wallet Connect, Coinbase Wallet, My Ether Wallet, um, Fortmatic. Today we're using MetaMask, so click that one. Now see our wallet synced. If this is your first time logging in, you won't have a um, you know icon or anything like that. You need to go and set that up. Um, you can do that just by editing my profile and go ahead and set all that stuff up. We can also view my items and we can see um, our you know home screen here and our collection of NFTs. Okay, so for today's video, what we are going to do is we are going to do the Bitrush Hottie here. We had recently minted the first Bitrush Hottie as a rareable collectible. So if you come here, it's in the collection rareable. However, we're gonna do future Bitrush hotties, and so I want to create a collection of hotties called Bitrush hotties. And so instead of seeing this coin here as rareable, and if we come over to OpenSea, we see up top says rareable, mintable, and then down below, it's like about rareable. We'd rather have that about our coin. And so what we're going to try to do is to create our own personal collection by minting our own coin here today. And we are going to do something similar to this NFT, but since I already did a deluxe edition and a regular edition, I'm not going to do um, the same thing. I am going to use the same girl, and I created um, something unique here for you guys that we'll see in a little bit, but it uses the line art sketch. It is a... Um, GIF and kind of just does something fun and animates into um, a final NFT, um, you know, similar to this one, but a little bit different. So we do have that. And then we're going to use a, another image as the actual coin to um, represent our collection. So if that sounds good, stick around. We're going to do this rather quickly. 
Um, if you guys need, do pause and go back and rewind and watch all the different parts. Okay, so to create a coin, we're going to go to create. And we are going to do multiples. This is if you want a one of one NFT or if you want multiple amount. So let's do multiple. And um, we're going to put them on sale so we can we can do that if you want the instant price you can set the instant price we're gonna actually not put ours on sale and not set the instant price right now um, so we'll go ahead and you know undo all of that but it does have uh, unlockable and the put on sale okay so uncheck all of those if you don't want to put it on sale and you don't want any unlockable content the next thing which is going to be the most important thing for today's video is where it says choose collection Normally we would just mint under rareable and the rarity token. Today we're going to click create and it's going to create us an ERC1155 token. And we are going to here need to um, update all the information, the display name, the symbol of the token, the description, and the short URL where um, to be used when people click and view your collection, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is to upload um, our collection token. And it does say gifts work too. So if you wanted it to be animated, you could do that. Um, it looks like, I don't know if mine's 400 by 400. I may need to pause this and edit that. But let's go ahead and upload and find out. So for us, it's going to be the collection. we can check to see how it works here too before we actually uh, mint this thing so if it's not exactly how we want it we can just pause and edit it that actually looks pretty good to me um, just about what I wanted as I mentioned I did do it a little bit different here than um, you know what the other one looked like a little bit different background and I made it pop a little bit show some depth on it so hopefully that looks cool as a small token there and then we're gonna do display name is going to be Bitrush Hotties. Actually, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the hyphen in there. Bitrush Hotties. Okay. So the symbol is going to be H O T I. Now let's do H O T T Hot T. <laughs> All right. Uh, wasn't sure if you guys got that. Okay. So description. Um, Let's think about that for a second and come back to it for right now. Let's do enter a short URL. We're just going to do um, bot these. Nope, that's not what we wanted. Not bots. We want hots. Hotties. I got to come up with something a little bit better than that. Uh, collection of hotties minted by Bitrush Crypto to commemorate various occasions. I want to commemorate epic occasions, something like that. Looks good. Looks like the gas fee is ridiculous, guys. Wow, $642 to mint this coin. Let's see if we can get it any cheaper. Okay, so even at the lowest setting, we can't really afford to do this, guys, and we're not going to be able to afford the NFT. Um, I'm going to have to put some more ETH in here, and we'll come on back possibly in another day and get this finished up. All right, did the old switcheroo and got some a little bit more ETH in the wallet here so we can make this happen. So $643 as of today's recording to mint your own token here on Rarible. Here we go. Sign that transaction and there it is. We now have in our wallet the option of a um, to choose our own collection here, Bitrush Hotties with the ticker H-O-T-T, -T, just 
as we set. So you have to do that initial transaction. And once we have that transaction done, now every single um, piece of art that we mint using the same wallet here in Rarible will have the option to be in that collection. Or we could still mint, um, you know, if we didn't want to mint in that collection, we still wanted to mint under Rarible. We have that option. And then we can create another collection. If you're a baller and you got enough ETH and you want to create multiple collections, say you're, you know, an artist, this is what you do for a living, you know, $600 isn't that bad if um, you're planning on making a living doing this. So um, for me, it's just something that I do as giveaways to my fans on the channel. And so 600 is a bit pricey for me, but, you know, as a real artist, that would be, you know, maybe just the cost of some paint and whatever. So, um, yeah, not that big a deal. All right, guys, so moving on, what are we going to do for our actual NFT now? As I mentioned, I'm not going to mint the original hottie because we already did her. And so what um, we are going to do now is call it concept. This one's going to be the concept. Um and it's going to be zero is going to be the number here. So let's go back to my other one. I kind of already have some of this information here. If we come to, um, let's just see the details. So my YT channel is Bitrush Crypto. So I'm probably going to put that under here. Um, so we have the option to do properties. So I'm just going to copy and paste all of these so it's the same. But as I mentioned, I'm not going to do this one as number one. This is going to be number zero so um, it, there we go that transaction is done now so subscribers so this is going to be the occasion so instead of subscribers I'm going to put occasion hopefully I spelled that right did they give me occasion I think that's right um, hottie name collection and this one I'm not going to do the same again because um, this one's going to be that so we're going to leave that and we're going to do concept on this one concept art Here we go. Hottie number, and this one's going to be zero. We're never going to mint a number one under this collection because the number one was minted outside of the collection, right? So that's kind of the point of what I'm doing here is I should have originally just minted that one under this um, collection. However, I didn't. So going back and trying to do it, we're creating another one here. So I'm not going to do a deluxe edition, but I'm just going to do um, edition minted or something like that. Let's do... Let's add that on so it's there for the future ones. So they're all the same template no matter what. So addition, and we're just going to put um, mint or collect. Yeah, let's just do mint, token mint. Okay. Number of copies. So for this, we're going to do a number of copies. We're going to do um, three and royalties. I like to do 33 on any of the collectible ones. So if anybody resells these, we do maintain a portion of that sale. And coming here right um, now, we're going to put the original. Bitrush Hottie, which in inspired the entire collection now time for the art right you guys are probably wondering what is it after all this build up so here we go so I think it's pretty cool it is um, the original line art sketch Spinning in a circle there, kind of just, you know, spinning around and then coming close into the final artwork with no other background or anything. So this was the concept that inspired the collection. This is the original um, artwork that inspired the first hottie popsicle. So here we go. Actually, I'm going to change your name to 
concept. Not yeah, let's leave it. Concept. Okay. Create item when you're ready, when everything looks good. I know it took me a while to decide on everything, as most artists do. It's not perfect <laughs> until we tweak it a thousand times. And you're going to have to sign one more um, transaction here. This one is just to mint the actual NFT. And so this NFT right now is looking at a price of $47. I'm going to actually edit it and speed it up a little bit faster just for the sake of making the video. If you guys have more time, you could slow it down and just go the average speed. And once you're ready with that gas fee, go ahead and click confirm. And that's it. We do now need to wait. It usually takes a couple minutes, even though it says to refresh. Um, this always confuses me because I see it and you, you say refresh and it kind of like shows up, but it's not there. So you're still waiting for that transaction to occur on the blockchain. If you guys want, you can come to your MetaMask wallet. And from your MetaMask wallet, you can usually, um, under ETH, you'll see the transaction. We can click on that transaction and then open it up using that arrow and view it on Etherscan. And it looks like it's going to take an average of three minutes here. So we'll just wait for a second and update you guys once it is complete. Okay, updating our wallet, we can now see that new NFT concept is in our wallet. And clicking into it, we can view now the collection right here. ERC-115 is Bitrush Hotties. And if we click on that collection, it does have its own URL of rarible.com forward slash hotties. So pretty cool there, guys. We can see that token. And let's try to um, pick this guy up over on OpenSea and see what it looks like over here. So coming to my wallet. We do say that now in my wallet here, even on OpenSea, we can click that. And again, we do see that title right here, Bitrush Hotties. We can click that and open up and see our collection page here as well. So on OpenSea, it's going to be um, the name of the collection, which is Bitrush Hotties. And we now see under that collection, we have... Um, our item that was minted, our concept art. Coming back over again, if we come to chain information, we can see a little bit more information about that. And then on uh, Bitrush Hotties, we do have our token and our information about it. A collection of hotties minted by Bitrush Crypto to commemorate epic occasions. And we do see the website, which should link back to the Rarible collection. And you can manage that and change any information you want if you want to add um, you know, different links and things like that. So really cool stuff. I hope you guys learned how to create your collection. You can update the, the header here on both Rarible and on OpenSea. And you can now mint as many tokens as you want in this collection. And um, obviously it's not for sale, so that's why it's not showing for sale here. Um, again, guys, I hope you did learn something in this video. This was one that was much requested by several people, how to create your own custom collection. And so here it is. It's a little bit of a pricey um, process, currently at around six to $700 to mint that token and mint your first piece of artwork under your custom collection. But if you're an artist or someone um, like me that has your channel and you're going to continue to make NFTs, I think it's definitely worth it to have your own collection rather than to just be in the main overall bucket of Rarible. It's easy to find, um, easier to share, overall easier to sell your work, and um, just a little bit more professional setting yourself out with an account and a custom collection. So there you go, guys. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up. Share it with a friend or family member, anyone you think may enjoy this content or want to know how to create a custom NFT collection or even just mint an NFT. Uh, make sure you sub to the channel again, bell to be notified on all future content. Thumbs up. Happy crypto. Let's get that coin.